pumped storage policy a policy for promoting pumped storage projects will be brought out for electricity storage and facilitating smooth integration of the growing share of renewable energy with its variable and intermittent nature in the overall energy mix research and development of small and modular nuclear reactors nuclear energy is expected to form a very significant part of the energy mix for vikasit bharat towards that pursuit our government will partner with the private sector for one setting up bharat small reactors two research and development of bharat small modular reactor and three research and development of new newer technologies for nuclear energy the r&d funding announced in the interim budget will be made available for this sector also advanced alva sup advanced ultra super critical thermal power plants the development of indigenous technology for advanced ultra super critical thermal power plants with much higher efficiency has been completed a joint venture between ntpc and bhel will set up a full scale 800 megawatt commercial plant using ausc technology the government will provide the required fiscal support moving forward development of indigenous capacity for the production of high grade steel and other advanced metallurgy materials for these plants will result in strong spin off benefits for the economy road map for hard to abate industries a road map for moving the hard to abate industries from energy efficiency targets to emission targets will be formulated appropriate regulations for transition of these industries from the current perform achieve and trade mode to indian carbon market mode will be put in place support to traditional micro and small industries and investment grade energy audit of traditional micro and small industries in 60 clusters including brass and ceramic will be facilitated financial support will be provided for shifting them to cleaner forms of energy and implementation of energy efficiency measures the scheme will be replicated in another 100 clusters in the next phase priority 7 infrastructure investment by central government significant investment the central government has made over the years in building and improving infrastructure has had a strong multiplier effect on the economy we will endeavor to maintain strong fiscal support for infrastructure over the next 5 years in conjunction with imperatives of other fiscal consolidation this year i have provided 11 lakh 11111 crore rupees for capital expenditure this would be 3.4% of our gdp infrastructure investment by state governments we will encourage states to provide support of similar scale for infrastructure subject to their development priorities the provision of 1.5 lakh crore rupees for long term interest free loans have been made this year also to support the states private investment in infrastructure investment in infrastructure by private sector funding and enabling policies and regulations a market based financing framework will be brought out pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana phase 4 of the pmgsy will be launched 
to provide all weather connectivity to 25,000 rural habitations which have become eligible in view of their population increase. Irrigation and flood mitigation. Bihar has frequently suffered from floods, many of them originating outside the country. Plans to build flood control structures in Nepal are yet to progress. Our government, through the accelerated irrigation benefit program and other sources, will provide financial support for projects with estimated cost of 11,500 crore rupees, such as the Kosi Michi Intrastate Link and 20 other ongoing and new schemes, including barrages, river pollution abatement, and irrigation projects. In addition, survey and investigation of COSI related flood mitigation and irrigation projects will be undertaken. Assam, Assam grapples with floods every year by the Brahmaputra River and its tributaries originating outside India. We will provide assistance to Assam for flood management and, and related projects. Himachal Pradesh suffered extensive losses due to floods last year. Our government will provide assistance to the state for reconstruction and rehabilitation through multilateral development assistance. Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand too suffered losses due to cloud bursts and massive landslides. We will provide assistance to the state. Recently, Sikkim witnessed devastating flash floods and landslides that wreaked havoc across the state. Our government will provide assistance to the state. Tourism. Tourism has always been. Tourism has always been a part of our civilization. Our efforts in positioning India as a global tourist destination will also create jobs, stimulate investments, and unlock economic opportunities for other sectors. In addition to the measures outlined in the interim budget, I propose the following measures. Vishnupad Temple at Gaya and Mahabodhi Temple at Bodh Gaya in Bihar are of immense spiritual significance. Of Vishnupad Temple Corridor and Mahabodhi Temple Corridor.